All right, it's another comparison. What are we comparing? How, which one of these has the shinier stainless? That's what we're looking at today. No, not really. We're comparing the uh, Rocket R58 with the Linea Mini from La Marzocco. Hey, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear. And as you can see, these both are high polished stainless steel machines. These are both double boiler machines. And people ask, let's compare these two. You know, they're, they're not in similar price points, but the functionality is similar. So that's why we're gonna go over it. Let's start with the Linea Mini. Stainless steel uh, boiler on the inside. Now this is configured just a little bit different for a double boiler. It has a uh, five or 3.5 steam boiler, liter steam boiler on the inside. And that feeds a very small boiler, integrated boiler that's sitting on top of the brew head. And so water goes from there into that little boiler, which is not very big, stainless steel, and then it sits right on top of the brew head, gives you good stability as far as temperature goes. Uh, as you can see, steam over here, paddle driven, which is a little bit different than some paddles. It's really just on and off. Uh, it's not some paddles, as you go over, the pressure goes higher, not in this one. And then hot water right here. Nice hot water dispenser. Uh, this is your water indicator and this is the boiler indicator. The boiler is on and the water is full. If I take and remove the drip tray, this is where your water tank is and this is 3.5 liters right there. And it's closed in so the Farby Doos don't go in there. See it blinking? It disables the boiler. The boiler is no longer heating up so you can't burn it up. And then it tells you, hey, I need water. If that was empty, that's what you would see. Drip tray, well, I got it out. It's a nice big drip tray right there. Stainless steel grate. Stainless steel chassis, as you can see. Cup warmer up here. Porter filter, 58 millimeter stainless steel porter filter. The other thing that's kind of nice is see how that sits on the countertop level for tamping. Also, spouts. If you were to hit this really hard and uh, really push on it, they're breakaway. It'll fall right off, and then you can put them back on again. The other thing that's kind of nice, you see this platform right here? That's for putting it on the countertop. There, it's flat, right? Let's see, what else? Two meters down here, one for the boiler, and then this one tells you what's going on at the brew head, uh, your pressure at the brew head, back pressure for the when you're brewing. Like I said, stainless. Your master on off switch is right back here. This machine also is NSF rated, which means you can actually use this in a cafe situation if you want to. You know, it's not going to be for a large volume cafe. That's not what it's designed for. Go up to the Linea, the Linea, not the Linea Mini, if you want to do that, or one of the other La Marzocco machines. But it's great for low volume. I'm sure you could probably pump out 125 drinks, 150 drinks a day with this, uh, with a good grinder, and probably not all, not in one hour. That's just not designed to do that. So that's the Linea Mini by La Marzocco. Now let's move over to the R58 by Rocket. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention on the Linea Mini. It is a PID control and it is right here. It is a turn dial to dial in the temperature of the boiler. PID right there. Now, the Rocket R58 also has a PID, and it's a digital PID, and it lets you get in here and program a few different things. Just hold this program button down. Language, uh, source, this one you can plumb in, and it comes ready from the factory to be plumbed in. You can change it from water, uh, your water source from tank to plumb. Service boiler is on, and the service boiler is referring to the steam boiler. Not everybody steams milk, so you can shut it off if you want to. Temperature is in Fahrenheit, and the brew uh, is at 221. There's a uh, chart for that. It, it's a conversion. It, you would say, 221, way too hot. It's reading on the outside of the boiler. This is actually going to be at around that 204, 205 mark. Uh, and the service boiler, 253, which is the steam side, and then back to home. 
And then once you program these in for whatever you want, take this off, put it in the drawer. It's going to save those program settings. So two meters uh, manometers on the front, just like the Larmor Zoco. 1.5 bars over here, up to 1.5, 1 to 1.5 is where you want your boiler to be. And then over here, this is the, the brew head, what's, what's happening. This is a lever machine. If pre-infusion, I didn't talk about that on this. This has a one second pre-infusion that's built in from the factory. You cannot adjust it, you cannot change it. Also, you can plumb this machine in, but it doesn't come from the factory plumb ready. You have to buy a kit, a uh, plumb kit for this from La Marzocco, and that raises the price up a bit. But this does not really have pre-infusion. I mean, it has the one second pre-infusion, but you can't change it. Rotary pump, as you can hear. This one here, if this was plumbed in, you would have a true pre-infusion. But when it's not plumbed in, we're working off the tank, which is right back here. If you go like this, it's just the pressure in the, I'm going to take this out so you can see it. It's just the pressure in the line from the, from the heat. Now, if I go the rest of the way, now I'm brewing. Again, rotary pump, nice and quiet. Drip tray right down here, comes out just like this. I won't take it out until that's done dribbling. Comes out just like that in any case. Stop dribbling. Okay, just like that. That's the chassis. If you were plumbing it in, this is to plumb your drip tray. There's a bolt down in there you take out. Let's see, what else? Stainless steel sides, stainless over here, cup rail, cup warmer, cup rail with warmer up here, water tank right back here. And the water tank, let me get my cheat sheet here. The water tank on this one is 2.5 liters. This is 3.5, a little bit bigger. And this one comes out just like that. And right back in here, well, no, not on this machine. It's on one of the other machines. You can actually, uh, on this one with the PID, this is where you switch it. On the old machines, they when they didn't have a PID on some of them, you switched it back here. That's where I was going with that. And what else do we need to know about this? Uh, true double boilers, uh, 1.7 liter on the steam side and 0.58 on the brew side. Copper boilers with brass end plates. Uh, insulation wrapped. This has an E61 which keeps the stability of the temperature at the brew head versus this one has the boiler sitting right on top of it. La Circle says they think it has better temperature stability. I haven't tested it. I would guess that it possibly would, although the E61's been around for a lot of years and it's like one of the factory, uh, one of the industry you know, it's just known in the industry for being a really good way. It has hot water siphoning through it all the time to keep the brew head hot. Three-way solenoid valve on this is exposed right here. On this one, it's you can't see it. It's uh, back behind the casing. They both have it. 58 millimeter portafilter, chrome-plated brass. Comes with uh, double and a single. And let's see what else. Hot water, hot water, steam. Steam. I want to show you the steaming power on these two machines. Four holes, very dry. This one, and step over here, two hole. dry as well. I would say uh, that one with the three hole seems like it maybe has a little bit more power. And also anti-burn steam arm, conventional steam arm. That one you're going to get hurt if you touch it. This one here I can touch it and I'm not going to get hurt. Well, let's see what else. This light indicates what, when you run out of water that's going to blink. This one here, the light is right here for the water. So similar features, um, a little bit different construction, and the way they do the PID is different, digital, analog over here. Uh, it's your choice. Check out the rest of the stats on our website.
Everything's there. And also check out the individual crew reviews that we did on each one of these. And we go, you know, brewing and steaming and the whole deal too. So check those out and you'll get a little bit more information. And the stats are on our website as well, like I said. And let us know your thoughts. I bet you there's a number of people out here, out there, that have these machines. So I'd like to have your feedback. Comments down below. Subscribe and check out the videos of these individual machines. And thanks a lot for watching this video.